Hey techies, Anthony from HashesNet here, and uh, looks like you've installed XSplit Broadcaster because obviously you wouldn't be looking at this video otherwise, and I'm kind of hoping to use my affiliate code to do it. But uh, with that said, you, you just want to know how to get this up and going really fast, and um, okay, sure. So of course when you got it, it'll probably look kind of like this. This is of course in full screen, and it already had a scene set up. That's great. I have another video on how to set up a scene. So go ahead and you know check that out. But for the purposes of basic setup, there are also videos for how to set up a record and how to set up a stream. So check those out. But what about the actual system settings? So if you go into here, you see all of these things. None of this can be set here. This is just how to save and load scenes. But if you go all the way down to here, you see settings. And the settings by default are purpose purposely fine. Uh, if you don't have a great CPU, but you have a master of a graphics card, and I'll show you how to change it so you rely more on your graphics card than your CPU. For the first step, of course, enable GPU priority. This uh, will set it where if there's something that uh, may cause slowdown or frame loss, it'll rely a little bit more on your GPU, assuming it's powerful enough, than it would to do much of anything else. And of course, um, this option, as it says, requires XSplit to run administrator mode to take effect. And this is an administrator mode. If you wanted to get into administrator mode, there is actually a start menu, which if you go here, there would be a run in administrator mode and you would click on it and then get to that option. Um, so I've decided that's the, the approach I am taking. I originally just had a straight dedicated to my GPU, but some things like uh, capture cards just really don't like that. So anyway, you can uh, go through enable game source, obviously, because if you're streaming video games, you want that. And you can set up things that um, uh, do work for DirectX 12. Or if you want to do um, something along the lines of uh, needing to restart and change options effects instantly, it kind of it kind of works well with this Vulcan stuff. Um, if you want to hide the XSplit broadcaster, uh, from display captures, you can do that here. I I don't really do anything. I've seen the kind of the stick in there, so it's fine. Um, obviously, if I did that now, you wouldn't be able to see any other stuff, and it would defeat my purpose of doing this video. Uh, hide top control bar. Never used it. Don't know what it does. <laughs> um, enable in-game HUD. Well, yes, because you know how else people know what you're doing. Yeah. Copy link to clipboard when starting a broadcast. Um, yes, because if you're going to tell your friends, that's a very useful tool. Uh, but it only works when you're doing like Twitch or YouTube plugin stuff. So uh, I, I use a lot of time Restream.io to multicast. So I only have to output one stream and it'll cast multiple. Uh, but you can broadcast a multiple directly from here if you wanted to. Uh, hide viewer and stream status. Um, this one's just an ego thing for me. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know. Uh, I'm, if somebody responds to chat, you know, I'll get an alert or something. Uh, but I don't really want to know while I'm streaming. It's a discouraging thing to see when there's not a lot of people watching whatever you're putting your heart and soul into. It is just tearing me apart. Uh, Log system information. Uh, if You should. Um, it keeps it local. And uh, if you ever have a problem and you contact XSplit, they'll ask for the log. So you, you definitely want to just log the information. Uh, if you don't have the log, they can't really help you very much. Uh, audio. Um, I do f default, basically. Just default, uh, unless you have specific equipment that you're going to use every single time. Uh, go Set those, but otherwise, default's perfectly fine. Uh, then okay. it's the same thing you can do for presentations, like if you're going to do a slideshow or something. So totally your call. Hotkeys, I really don't use these. Um, because like here are the screenshots, control, alt, insert. You can literally just click this button and get a screenshot. You don't really need a shortcut to it. Plus other applications use this same one. Um, I just get the Xbox bar get in the way. Uh, so I've noticed that some shortcuts I just don't bother because you know, I'll have multiple things trying to use it. So mm. sharing. So this one is where you would set up how you would share your stuff uh, via well, in this case, YouTube and Twitter. Uh, I assume there are other plugins. I just I don't use this feature. I am fairly advanced when it comes to creating media and putting it out on the internet. And while this would be essentially easier for new people, I I like adding certain things to my images or my video. Uh, as you probably see, a nice border around this image. So I prefer more than just a raw image. 
and of course advanced um you can set your cpu processing or gpu processing but again back in the general tab if you set uh, preference for the gpu it will make that decision for you you don't necessarily have to set it uh here's audio render um this will force direct sh uh, show sources to use whatever this is i don't know what it is i don't use it uh w wasapi i guess uh, allow uh, outputs to specify their own network adapter. Well, if you only have one, you really don't need to select this. Uh, browser source special optimization. Uh, this one uh, is for presentation stuff and allows it to refresh as changes are being applied in the saved file. Uh, not something I use very much. If I do presentations, I'm typically using something like StreamYard. And so it's just basically uh, grabs the source and throws it in there and whatever. So, of course, here's my GPU adapter of choice. I could also select my onboard GPU, which is butt, B-U-T-T -T butt. And then, of course, automatic, and it'll decide its own. I don't want it to decide its own. I wanted to know that I want to use that 3060 I paid $300, $400 for. I don't remember how much. Uh, and then, of course, GPU anti-aliasing. Um, it's experimental. I don't use it. You shouldn't use it. Do not do these unless you're told to by XSplit. Uh, because you don't need to. And that is the basic set things for XSplit Broadcaster. And if I if you haven't seen the other videos and now you haven't cut it, there are some other quick settings that you can do up here that uh, allows you to create a workspace as well as a live feed. There's also a feature that uh, allows you to change how the screen presents to you. All it really does is change the color at the bottom of the screen. And then there is, of course, you can change your resolution, you can change your frame rate, and you can change how big the screen shows on your screen. And then, of course, if you want snap to grid, so when you drag and drop things, it snaps to grid. Tell me in the comments your thoughts in this video. Did you like what you saw, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.